Hey guys. Uh, so today I'm going to tell a personal story about when I moved from Michigan to Arizona and how it changed and affected me. So in 2018, I graduated from Gall Lake High School in Richland, Michigan. Uh, I already knew what I wanted to do with my career goals. I wanted to become a teacher, but I also really wanted to push my comfort zone. At this point in my life, I was very, very shy, surprisingly, uh, and this was really, really scary for me. I chose to take a gap year from college and move out to Arizona. This reason being, I already had two brothers who lived out there and it was hot. So here in Michigan, it is very, very cold and I wanted a change. The summer of 2018 was just now ending and it went, it was time for me to move. Timing couldn't have worked out any better. My brother got married earlier in the year in Arizona, uh, but came to Michigan with his wife to celebrate with his Michigan friends and family that couldn't be at the wedding. Uh, therefore, they were out there one week before I was to move. So luckily we were able to carpool, from Ari uh, carpool to Arizona, so I wasn't alone. Uh, this was really important to my parents just because I was 18 at the time, uh, they would never have let me drive all the way to Arizona by myself, nor would I really want to do that. Now, almost everything I owned was packed. I just needed to move it into the car at this point. My mother helped me pack up the car, uh, but there were tears in her eyes, I could tell. Not because she didn't want me to go, but because I was their last kid and I was moving out of the house. It was so hard not to cry knowing how big this moment was uh, for my family. My parents were really supportive of the move, but I could tell how sad it was for them as well. I held back any tears that I had. I gave my parents a big hug goodbye. I grabbed my dog Timber and we started to drive. I remember as soon as I pulled out of the driveway, I started to cry. It was my childhood home. I cried for almost two hours while driving with only my dog as company in the car. We drove nine hours that first day and it was exhausting. I was done with the initial uh, sadness of leaving home and instead enjoying the adventure of the trip. My brother and I got hot dogs uh, so we could cook them over the campfire. Our first night we were in Missouri. That first night at the campfire was so surreal. It was incredible. I felt like I was going from a child to an adult all within one week. My thoughts were so scrambled. I had so many emotions, but at that point in the trip, I was also just very starving and tired. So I ate that hot dog and went back into my tent to fall asleep. The next two days, we continued to push our driving. We stopped in Kansas and Colorado. We decided to drive through Colorado, even though it added a couple hours to the trip. But trust me, it was so worth it. If you have never been to Colorado, I completely recommend it. Uh, it was just so incredible. I couldn't believe my eyes. The views were some of the best I have ever seen. So we stopped in Golden, Colorado to see a friend and grab some dinner. It was the highlight of the trip to me. The views were gorgeous as the sun started to set. The sunset was purple, pink, yellow, a little bit of that teal blue, and a bright orange color. We walked through Golden, we walked through stores, we bought some touristy shirts and ate a delicious, uh, at a delicious Indian food place. We camped that night a little bit outside of Golden, Colorado. The next morning came and I typed the directions to Phoenix, Arizona into my phone. At this point, I was so defeated. I was so sad. The phone said we had 12 hours left. I was shocked how long this trip was taking and I was so exhausted. We loaded back into our cars and we decided that this was gonna be our last day driving. So at first I was really excited to reach Arizona and see uh, my new home, but the trip then ended up taking a little bit of a turn for the worse for me. Around 11 p.m. that night, I had my first breakdown, a small breakdown. I felt scared, I felt nervous, I felt regret, 
and mainly I felt sad, so much sadness. I just missed my parents. I had been driving for four days straight, and at the time, I didn't know if I was gonna, uh, I didn't know if I was making a mistake or not. So I pulled myself together, got back in the car, and continued driving. We finally made it to our destination in Phoenix, Arizona at 3 a.m. It was a long, long day, a very long night as well. This trip was 1,600 miles, a three-hour time difference, and a 27-hour nonstop road trip. Now, of course, we did stop and uh, camp in tents along the way, but it still took four days, almost five days, to drive across the country from Michigan to Arizona. I was so thankful that I had my dog with me the whole time for some company. See, when I was 12 years old, our family dog died, and my parents said, we are done, we are not getting another dog. And this being because uh, I was raised on a farm, we had cows, sheep, goats, you name it, we had it. So they were ready to be done with having animals. So after begging and begging for another dog, my parents finally let me get one my senior year of high school. And now I finally understand why they let me. My parents let me get a dog so I wouldn't be alone. They knew I was going to move out and they wanted me to have her. And I am so thankful for this. After four days of driving, camping, exploring, finally arriving to Arizona, I still remember how excited I was crossing the border into Arizona, knowing that we are almost there. For some reason, it felt very temporary though. Uh, it felt like I was just visiting, not like it was my new home. It felt like an, a vacation. Yet I was smiling from head to toe. I loved finally being in the hot weather, the beautiful warm sun, and I thought the cactuses were the coolest thing. I swear for the first two months of me being in Arizona, I touched almost every single cactus, even though I know you're not really supposed to do that. Uh, and now this entire story is almost two years old. The time has flown by and I can accurately say it was not a mistake and I don't regret it at all. I went from being very, very shy to a confident and outgoing person who chose her own path. Now, of course, this came with many ups and downs as well, many bumps in the roads, but this was a great experience and a story that I will never forget. Thank you guys.